Okay, I don't know how people make videos that aren't edited because I am just too ADHD and I just start going on tangents that make no sense. So here I am. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm not editing this video because I filmed four other draw videos and they still haven't been edited. So edited, edited, edited. It's a fun word. Um, <laughs> so here we are. I wanted to talk about what's going on with my jaw and why I have a GoFundMe. So I was doing an appliance where the Vivos appliance, which expands your jaws and is supposed to help with sleep apnea and um, <clears throat> creating room for the tongue to be in your mouth. And it didn't work out for me. It helped with some of my symptoms, but it didn't, it couldn't have fixed my problems because I'm too severe of a case to fix. <laughs> I'm not fixable without surgery. So I was rewatching my first video about all of this and I was like, I'm trying to avoid surgery, which I'm glad I did because if I would have gotten surgery, I probably would have relapsed from the surgery and my jaw joints probably would have gotten a lot worse. So <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't do the surgery when I was going to, and I'm glad I did find the Vivo Appliance, but <sighs> I found out that I have bad TMJ joints. Basically my lower jaw, this part right here, it's supposed to be a little longer and it's basically eating itself. My jaw is eating itself. So when I was a teenager, this usually starts when you're a teenager. It's usually found in female people. Um, basically, the fact that I got braces aggravated it and caused my jaw to literally just start eating itself, which melts the face, I guess. Basically, your jaw is normally like forward and like this and when your jaw joints start eating themselves it makes this part shorter and if this part's getting shorter then the jaw's gonna rotate like that making your face longer and more pushed backwards so that happened to me after braces nobody knew what was going on I didn't know what was going on I just noticed that I was ugly. I thought I was just supposed to be ugly, but it's not about appearance, but form does follow function. So it's part of it, but really I was having a lot of functional issues, really bad posture. And it was upsetting to me because I've always been really good at having good posture, like as a kid and everybody would compliment me about how good my posture was. And I liked that and I wasn't able to have good posture anymore. So there were just a lot of things that I explained further in the GoFundMe, like, description, but, um, and I'll go deeper into those things as I go, but I wanted to just come here and say that once I found out my joints were bad, that was right when the Vivo Supplants broke, actually, so I was like, well, I guess it's a sign from the universe that I should stop wearing it because I think it's starting to make my joints eat themselves again, so... <clears throat> Mm. Um, now I've seen three different joint replacement surgeons and they all said that I needed my joints replaced and one of them said I didn't but then he changed his story and said that he always thought I needed them so the first two were not for me and the last surgeon that I saw was amazing and he validated all of the research that I've done and told me that I was right about everything, which is awesome. So I knew exactly what was wrong with me and I knew how to fix it surgically and he agreed. So <clears throat> I have decided to go with him as my surgeon and basically what they'll do is chop off the rest of my bone that's eating itself so it can't eat itself anymore. And take out my current TMJ joints and put metal joints and a metal 
bone piece that my bone ate and replace it so this will move down and then rotate forward like that so it'll be like from here to like and then they're gonna cut my upper jaw and do a high Lafort one is what they call it and move that forward and rotate it as well so that my jaws will meet properly and I won't have any more joint eating itself or hopefully any more pain from the TMJ symptoms. So this is a very long process and a lot of time and money and trauma, <laughs> but I'm really glad that I've made it to the final point, hopefully the end of this long, dark journey to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of there's a solution, this is the root problem and I'm going to have it fixed and it feels really like a relief like thank you I finally figured it out and now I can finally get it fixed and start living my actual life <laughs> instead of being struggling to survive all the time because I can't breathe my airway is smaller than a straw at the smallest point and I think the whole thing is actually smaller than a straw <sighs> so that's why I have to take deep breaths like that all the time and um, struggle to breathe out of my nose. So I have these little nose dilators to try and help me breathe out of my nose. And um, I can't eat because my teeth do not meet properly anywhere. So I can't bite through things. I can't chew properly. It hurts. It hurts to open my mouth wide. Um, <clears throat> my teeth hurt constantly because they're just smashing into each other in random ways. They don't have a place to go to rest. So that also means that my muscles that control my jaws are freaking out and tight and hurt all the time because my teeth can't relax because they don't meet together. So it's just constantly moving around and trying to figure out where to go or clenching to try and force the teeth to mesh together and it's just not working out. <laughs> so I'm in pain all the time, chronic pain, can't breathe can't eat, I have sleep apnea, really bad. The CPAP does not work for me, unfortunately. So I'm just kind of miserable, honestly. And I am really happy to have found the solution, but I also don't exactly have $89,000 to <laughs> spend on jaw surgery, just laying around somewhere. So that's why I made a GoFundMe and I really would like this is actually gonna save my life because living like this is not a life worth living. And I've had many, many, many moments of not wanting to live anymore because of these issues. And I just want my life. <laughs> I wanna start living my life. So I hope that somebody will donate and even just like a dollar, if everyone that watches this video donates one dollar, that would help me significantly. And of course I have two full-time jobs. I have a third job that I'm working on with real estate stuff that I'm going into with a business partner. So I'm doing everything I can to earn the money to make this happen for myself. It's not like I'm just sitting here in my house alone being miserable and waiting for someone to take care of me. I'm actually doing stuff. So, but it would be really, helpful if other people could help me because I don't think I'm gonna make 89,000 or 51,000 is how much the GoFundMe is for to pay for this surgery on my own uh, and I really already have thousands and thousands of dollars in debt from other health expenses of me trying to figure out what this is so anyway enough about that I'm gonna be posting I'm going to try to post daily Instagram stories and I'm going to try to post weekly here on my channel. So <sighs> I'm just going to talk about what I've been going through that day or like what's going on with my jaw, how I'm feeling and like show you how it's actually affecting my life. So maybe that will sh explain more of why this is such a miserable disease to have. Um, ICR, idiopathic condylar resorption. Uh, it's basically the jaws eating itself. So 
Um, anyway, I guess I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully it's still recording. Um, and I'm gonna try to upload it and see what happens. Okay, okay, bye.